Hey guys, it's Sarah at carnivore.yogi on Instagram. Thank you so much for coming on to my YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe while you're here. So today is an interview with my friend Emily who has been on my channel before. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel as well as the interview that we did back in January so you can really get the full story of her recovery from severe bipolar, um, MS. She was basically unable to work, entirely unable to work. So this is, you know, that episode was very, very powerful. This one is also very powerful. So before we jump in, I also want to give a shout out to one of my sponsors, BetterHelp. Now, this video does talk about some mental health issues, and so I want to, and I'm happy to, offer you guys a resource if you need someone to help you with your mental health. BetterHelp is a network of licensed therapists that you can do everything from the comfort of your home via phone, via computer. So it's a very simple service to use. I will link them below. But because this topic is a lot about mental health, I did want to add that resource in there for you guys as well. I hope you just enjoy this discussion. I'll definitely have Emily back on my channel again. She's an absolutely amazing person and a dear friend of mine that we are friends off of the internet as well. So enjoy this interview, leave us a comment below and have a lovely rest of your day. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It is Sarah at carnivore.yogi on Instagram. I have a repeat guest today, Emily, who's actually a friend of mine. We talk offline. I literally think the world of her. She's absolutely amazing. Um, if you have not watched the video that we did, and she just told me the date was January 10th, our first interview, which really gives backstory on her amazing recovery from um, MS, bipolar, and losing 100 pounds. It is phenomenal. Um, so I will link that below the video as well as her YouTube channel because she now also has a channel which is doing well and I want to support that and help it grow. Um, but Emily, I, I saw a story on your YouTube recently that, I mean, I was watching it, I was crying because I was just like, the, what you had to go through. I was literally holding my phone in tears um, with this story. So why don't you just jump in and kind of tell everyone a little bit about what happened um, with your experience um, with, with meat. <laughs> let's, just, <laughs> let's just get into it. All right. All right. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, so like I, with bipolar disorder and with MS, um, you're always waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're always waiting for your symptoms to come back because Historically, that's the nature of bipolar disorder. That's the nature of MS. So when I had this severe reaction recently, it was on my birthday when I got this meat. Um, so I started eating it the day after my birthday. So it was February 11th. Uh, I, I assumed that the reactions that I was having meant that my bipolar disorder and my MS was coming back to get me. So what happened um, exactly? Um, so I haven't had a manic or depressive episode with bipolar disorder since April of 2019. Hmm. And um, after I ate this, this beef, um, it was a sale. It was $3.99 ribeyes. Uh, it was a slab of ribeyes. And then they cut it up for me into ribeyes. And I bought the grocery store out. I bought four slabs of these ribeyes and um, I was so happy, you know, cause it was, it was so cheap. I could afford it, you know? And um, so I want to say five, six, I think it was the sixth day that I ate. Cause I ate just exclusively this beef. I had run out of beef. And so this was all I was eating. Um, I curled up in the fetal position and cried mm -hmm. and cried and cried for hours. And that hasn't happened to me um, since April of 2019. So it was significant, you know, and there wasn't anything going on. There was no like, no death in the family, no like breakup, no, you know, no reason for me to be in the fetal position, like sobbing hysterically um, for, for really no, no direct reason. Um, but it was that feeling of bipolar disorder of that doom, you know, that, that cloudiness, that gray heaviness. Um, and then, uh, the next day I woke up and I had, uh, MS symptoms. 
in my arms, which is the uh, pins and needles. Um, it's like nerve pain in my arms and my legs were, um, completely filled with fluid. Um, mm. and, uh, I had pitted edema in my ankles. I went from 129 on my birthday to that day, uh, seven days later, I was 144. And I don't care about weight, but I knew that something was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Something was not okay. So that's what I was experiencing. And tell us a little bit about the meat that you got. It was on sale. Um, was it, I'm assuming it wasn't like grass fed meat. What kind of meat was it? No, it was just um, the regular meat that you get at any grocery store. Um, uh, obviously it wasn't marked anything specifically just you know sale um and so the from what i've learned now all of the meat that is at your grocery store um is considered kfo beef and that's you know like you know the big that's not where they're they're out like roaming on the pasture they're roaming out on the on the grass or every everything it's whenever they have these big feeding um, operations, uh, where the, the animals are, are definitely not in a good environment as far as, um, what they're being fed and, you know, the, the conditions of, of the place. Um, and I didn't care. I cared that, you know, these animals were being treated like this. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't having any malice feeling about that, but I was trying to survive. Mm -hmm. And for a year, I ate nothing but CAFO beef and I was fine. I was having excellent results with my mental health, my physical health. Um, I lost a hundred pounds, which wasn't the plan, but it's, it's awesome. It's a cool side effect. Yeah. Um, and so I didn't think that I required to have anything else, but what I could find at my grocery store until this happened. And, um, unfortunately, uh, it happened, but fortunately I had, I was surrounded by people who were able to give me an, a, an idea of what to look for and how to find a better source. And I genuinely didn't know that there was a better source this close to my house. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons, you know, not, I'm first of all, like I just, it still makes me feel so horrible, sad that you had to go through that, you know, and um, just to, to think of how scary that was. But, you know, I also want to bring out this awareness to people who might be watching that, you know, your story of finding somebody local that you can work with and um, the ease of that. So talk a little bit about that for everybody and your experience with that so far. Um. Well, I'm very real and very honest. And um, one of the people in the carnivore community with me was Nidhi the pharmacist. And it's N-I-T-I, but you say it Nidhi, Nidhi okay. the pharmacist. And she has been talking to me about regenerative meat. And it sounded like this huge, like lofty goal, like some extra detail that just seemed ridiculous to me, honestly. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cute. Like, I'm happy for you, but that's not me. You know, I'm just this simple girl from Southeast Missouri eating steaks and getting what I can. And, but she still loved me, like, which was really cool, you know? Um, and I wasn't rude to her, but I was just like, oh, okay, great. I can't hear you. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't hear you, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I think that that is good for you, but that's not good for me or that's not necessary for me. And so when this happened, um, I called her and we were actually on a zoom meeting and I said, um, Hey, I got to talk to you. And she could just tell in my face. Mm. And she was like, what? And I told her about all my symptoms that came back and she just started bawling. Uh. And she goes, I wanted to be wrong. I wanted to be wrong. I wanted you to be the one person who could survive and, and, and have their, you know, autoimmune disease resolve yeah. and, on just KFO beef. I wanted you to be that miracle. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, 
but I'm here. If, if, if you're ready to listen, I'm here. And so, and I did. And uh, she taught me how to vet um, certain farmers to mm -hmm. find out through her book and her book breaks it down, like legit breaks it down, oh, wow. but still I'm, I'm not going to sit and read a book. You yeah. know, like I can't read a book. <laughs> I'm so busy. I'm working. I'm a mom, you know, and, yeah. uh, th her, but her book is amazing. I mean, her book really breaks down how awesome. to find the right farmer. I'll try to link it below here. Maybe you can give me that resource. Yeah. So people can check Absolutely. That out. She's been yeah. doing this for 12 years. Oh, wow. 12 years. Wow. She's been doing this before people were doing this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And um, what she does is she just communicates between the farmer and the um, consumer. And she educates both sides on, on how to make this, this happen. And she educates the consumer and says, okay, if you go to your farmer and say, this is my commitment, I'm going to have this ongoing relationship with you. And this is how much I can give you. And you give them an amount and you say, how much meat can you give me for a hundred dollars? How much meat can you give me for $200? Um, and just to say, I'm going to come back to you. Um, it's amazing how that, just that one little, little bit of information opened up the door for me mm -hmm. with a local farmer. And um, it, I, I got to tell you, I mean, I'm getting this one order I got for $8 a pound and wow. I average about $10 a pound. Um, and I've, I've opened it up to different cuts, um, which I didn't think that I could or that I wanted to. Um, but I'm eating like round steak and sirloin and New York strip and filet mignon. And it really opened up a lot mm -hmm. because then I just get my, my fat separately. So I yeah. order my fat separately and then I have my lean, you know, grass fed, uh, beef and, um, my health is worth it. My health is worth, you know, doing whatever it takes to yeah. get this done. Um, and so that's, so that's been my experience so far. And so how long did it take when you switched over to, you know, the, the meat from the farmer for those symptoms and the weight gain and all that stuff to dissipate? Um, I felt better immediately because I, I, I've gotten this really weird relationship with meat now. Mm -hmm. I almost get like a grounding mm -hmm. um, yeah. effect. Like when I touch the fat or when I touch the meat, um, and then when I taste it, I just, uh, I feel it. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I know it sounds really weird and like spiritual, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, so I really felt it immediately. I felt like my body was saying that, yes, this is what we need. This is what we want. Um, this is what's best for us. Mm. Um, but, uh, I definitely, uh, I, I recorded my video cause I wanted to wait until I really knew what was going on, but once yeah. everything resolves, um, so I recorded my video two weeks after, um, it, it all happened uh, or two weeks after I had been on the grass fed, the local grass fed beef. Yeah. Um, and m you know, my weight went back to normal. Um, my, my ankles went back to normal. <laughs> I won't show you them right now, <laughs> but, um, and then, uh, of course I haven't had any more, you know, crying or, uh, MS feeling at all. Um, such a and I feel back to a hundred percent now. That's such a relief. You know, um, I really hate that you had to go through that. Uh, but the, on the other side of it is now you have a relationship with a farmer. And so you're able to just say, let me give you X amount of money. And then she just has your order ready for you and pretty yes. seamless process. Yeah. The only problem that we did run into is, um, she is kind of smaller a smaller farm mm -hmm. and she isn't going to butcher another cow for another uh, month. I think she said maybe two months and she said she didn't have any fat and all of the beef that she has is very lean. Mm -hmm. Even the ground beef is very lean. Um, and um, so I was able to, because I had that relationship with her, I was able to go to her and say, listen, um, I get that you don't have the fat, but I need 
fact. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me of another local source? Because I can't go back to the CAFO fat that I was eating at the grocery store because it's attached to the CAFO beef and still there's whatever toxins are in the actual fat. Yeah. And she said, oh, I know exactly who you need to call. Call the place where we butcher. And it's 41 miles from me. So Mm -hmm. she's 18 miles, 16 miles from me. And this butcher is 41 miles from me. And I had no clue, no clue that these resources were right here until Nevi said, look, just look, just Mm -hmm. look. And I was just like, oh, I just had to look. Like, I know that sounds so stupid, but that's no, it how basic it was. Like, I just had to look and find this. And then today I picked up uh, 25 pounds of beef fat. And it's, and I talked to the butcher and I said, now, none of this is KFO, none of this. He goes, no, this is all local grass fed. Oh, and no. I am just so blessed. So now I can go back to my, my same regimen of eating 50% animal, 50% beef fat and 50% beef meat. Nice. Um, and I, I eat about a pound and a half total a day. Nice. That's wonderful. And, you know, one of the things I remember you saying in the interview we did earlier this year was that you just needed to keep things really simple just for your life. And, you know, that's probably why you never even really looked into this before is because you're recovering from a very, very serious illness. I mean, people, yeah. people with, with bipolar and people with MS, they can't work there. They most of the time have to go on disability and it's an extremely serious issue. And so I think everyone out there was like, girl, if you got to go to the grocery store to get your meat, do it, you know, if it's helping you. Um, but again, you know, now this is, this is simple too. And that's why I just, you know, like I said, I hate that you had to go through this, but I love the story. And that's why I wanted to bring you on to, to really share with people who watch my channel that this is an option. This is something that they can do, um, that you can find a local farmer. And I'll link that book below. It's so awesome. Um, and I know you can go on eatwild.com. Um, that's another resource for people. I'll link that also below and you can find local farmers and you, they have their phone numbers, their addresses. If they have a website that's listed on there too. Um, but yeah, this, this lifestyle I think is, is just so amazing for so many people. And, um, you know, we got to keep spreading the good news. Well, and also I think, I think what's really important to key into is knowing your body you know, and hearing what your body is telling you, because Sarah, it it didn't tell me that there was anything wrong Mm -hmm. with the beef for a year. Yeah. A year. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden I I started reacting to this, to Mm -hmm. this beef. And, um, I, I, I think that it's, it is a process. It's a process of learning. It's a process of knowing your body. Um, and then adapting, you know, and making yeah. whatever changes need to be made. Um, cause it is overwhelming to think about at the very, if you start out at the yeah. very beginning of carnivore to go, what yeah. I have to eat only meat and only fat. And then what I have to get grass yeah. fed. What, you know, like that's yeah. just too much for our brains. That's whenever we just go, okay, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, it goes into steps. It does. It does. You know, it's, I just was talking with a uh, grass fed girl, Caitlin, um, yesterday and we were talking about macros cause it's like a whole conversation. Everyone's freaking out and worried out cause it's the whole diet culture thing is a disaster. Um, but you know, I loved what she was just saying of like keeping it super simple. And if you're just starting this to keep it as simple as humanly possible you know? Um, but another thing that those of us who have been doing this for a little while can do is offer resources to people who are starting out who would or like, Oh, I would love to be able to support my local farmer. I would love to be able to not, you know, purchase feedlot beef and, and put money into that industry where those animals are treated poorly. And, you know, I I really do want to do the right thing. I just don't know how. Um, so that's one of the things I love about being able to have these platforms is to just share this information with people who really do in their hearts want to do the right thing, but maybe they just don't know how to do it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. And you guys definitely, you're going to want to go and follow Emily and subscribe to her channel. Cause I know that she'll continue to update you guys on her journey. And you know, there, she just has such a wonderful attitude and positive attitude towards life. Her story is so inspiring. Um, yeah. Thank Anything you. Anything else you want to um, say to the people out there? <laughs> um, I, I think that another uh, thing that's really important is to not try and do this on your own. Mm. Um, you know, I know that it's intimidating to think about hiring a coach, um, but you know, we, we've kind of been through this. And yeah. so it's, yeah, you can sit there and, and think about how much money that costs or whatever. But whenever you think about how much time it saves you to kind of troubleshoot things, mm -hmm. it really is worth it. it. It really is worth it to just have one session, yeah. you know, just have one session to, to get a plan. And that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm not an advocate for, you need to see me every week for the next three you yeah. know, months. Like, shut yeah. up. You know? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> like, no, he, let's talk one time and then you go. You yeah. go, you run on your own and, um, and you do it, get, get that plan going. Um, and so I, I think that sometimes that's intimidating, but I think it's very useful because I have learned so much from the carnivores around me. Yeah. Um, and th it's critical. You know? I agree. I mean, you know, I just, I've talked about it a lot in my videos, but I've been working with, um, Stephanie keto person yes. for about a month now, and it's made a huge difference for me. Um, and I was so stubborn. I was like, I'm not going to pay anyone. I can figure this out. I have connections. I mean, I, I interviewed, you know, Dr. Saladino and Dr. Sai was like, I've ta talked to people so I could reach out to them, but I'm too, like, I just don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to figure this out. And then I got to a point where I just needed, and to have her has been like so invaluable, you know, mm -hmm. um, I still am like asking her questions about stuff and it's just like, I mean, I wish I had done it a year ago. So yeah. yeah. And I know you're coaching, so I'll definitely put your link below the video. Um, so people can reach out to you if they're interested in getting coaching and your pricing is very, very reasonable. There are some coaches out there that charge a lot, a lot of money. Um, you know, so I will definitely link that below this so people can reach out to you as well if they do want some guidance. So thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Well, thank you again for coming on and chatting with me. It's always awesome. And I, I know I'll be bringing you back on in the future because it's just an important conversation that we need to continue in the community for sure. Absolutely. And it's not scary. You know, I think that that was the biggest thing for me was that I was like, oh, this is, this is so-and-so down the street. And, you know, and it wasn't a big deal once I did it. It was more my mindset of just like, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And then once I did it and I found a local farmer, I was like, wait, this is way better. This is way better for me to support my local community, you yeah. know, and to get a better source of beef. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, thank you, Emily. Thanks. All right. Bye. 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 Okay.